Hey everybody, Doug here. I'm on my back porch with my straw hat on because I just got back from three lovely days at the Kutztown Folk Festival. While down there, Chris and I were able to perform two shows a day with our Pennsylvania Dutch music and humor. But when we weren't playing, we were walking around the festival grounds, shooting video and content for the YouTube channel. So over the next couple videos that I'll be bringing out, I wanna share with you the stuff that I filmed and enjoyed and experienced at this year's Kutztown Folk Festival. I hope that if you have never been there or if you missed this year's festival, that next year in 2024, you can make it down there. It's always around the first week in July. You can check out their website for more information, kutztownfestival.com. They already have next year's dates printed. I just don't remember what they are off the top of my head. But I hope you enjoy the next couple of videos with content from this year's, the 2023 edition of the Kutztown Folk Festival. Mach's gut and enjoy. On day two at the Kutztown Folk Festival, that was July 2nd, it was Sunday. This time, Chris and I, we didn't just walk around and took film. This time, we engaged with people. We interviewed some people and we pulled some uh, unsuspecting tourists and visitors to the Folk Festival out of their element and put them in front of the camera. So we hope you enjoy these short interviews and these uh, experiences with some tourists that didn't know going to the festival would mean they'd end up here on the YouTube channel. Here you go, guys. Enjoy. We are here at the Kutztown Folk Festival. I'm with my dear friends Dave and Gene Adam, and I want to ask you both this question first. I'm going to go with the lovely Miss Adam first. Okay. Gene, what's it mean to you to be Pennsylvania Dutch? It's my whole life. I've been born Dutch, and I just kept up all the traditions. Of, uh, of what the Dutch are like. Just recently, I read a sentence. We, as Pennsylvania Dutch people, don't throw anything away. I said, that's my life. That I don't throw anything away. I can reuse it for something. That's right. <laughs> and speaking of not throwing something away, Dave, Adam, what, what does it mean to you to be Pennsylvania Dutch? I am very proud of it. There are just not many people that can do what I do now. They wish they could, and I'll tell you what, I am so glad. When I was born, and they taught me Dutch, and I'm glad I stuck with it. Pennsylvania Dutch is the only way in my life. I don't know any different. It, it would be odd, odd for me to go and live some other person's life. Yeah. Well, these guys keep up the great work that you both are doing, teaching the language and culture, and grow stunk. Thank you to the for and I will hope Oh, it says, good gait, the guns walk. I think so. How about Saying Mark's? Saying the <laughs> That's good, yeah. Okay. Hey, everybody, we're here at the Kutztown Folk Festival, and we are going to go out and talk among the people. We're going to put some people on the spot and see what they know, what they don't know, and how they're enjoying, hopefully, their time here at the Folk Festival. So let's walk a little bit and see if we can wrangle a stranger in on this video we, we just got to be bold chris we just got to be bold right what do you think who do you, oh, do, you, do, you do you pick do you see somebody with your little eye there's someone behind you there's someone behind me there's some people, there's some people. we can grab one of them who 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 come on now what do you think chris what do you think what do you think what do you think would any of you lovely people like to be in our youtube video Oh, no, thank you. Do we have to say anything fun? What do we have to say? I'm going to put you in the spot here, just yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. All right, right? Okay, so, uh, what's your name and where are you from? Jennifer, New Tripoli. New Tripoli. Yeah. We got a Dutch girl with us. No. So here's the big oh. question. Oh. Yeah? Oh. Okay, that's are you? No. No, 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 you're not. No, no. And you live in New Tripoli? Oh, Philadelphia. Okay, <laughs> I got an easy question for you. Okay. Fill in the blanks. Now, remember oh, where you are. <laughs> remember where you are. Okay. All right. All right the, the category is baked goods. Okay. Okay, fill in the blanks. A blank, blank pie. Shoe fly. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. Thank you so oh, much, right. Jennifer. Oh, we got it. Great. Yay! Mom's oh. going to be famous. <laughs> All right, good luck, guys. Thank you. Hey, Captain America, you want to be on a video real quick? Come on here. Come on here. All right. What's your name and where are you from? Justin. And from? Well, I'm from Kutztown, I guess. All right. We got a local boy here. Okay, here's the question. Just answer whatever you think it is. If somebody turns to you and says, Kunch du Mikafunga, what do you say back? I have no clue. Oh. Does, the, answer? the answer is, Ja, once he hockebleiber. 
And what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Can you catch flies? Yes, when they <laughs> stay still. That's a traditional Pennsylvania Dutch phrase. Put you on the spot. Do you want an easier question? Sure. Okay, here's the question. Category is Pennsylvania Dutch food. Okay. All right. What is the name of the popular Pennsylvania Dutch breakfast meat? Scrapple. Bing, 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 bing. We got a winner anyway. He saved the day. Thanks so much, man. Right, <laughs> Looks good. Hello. Tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Jean Widener, and I'm from Fleetwood. From the big town of Fleetwood. There Jean, you do you, kannst du Deutsch schwätzen? Nein. <laughs> nee. Did your parents speak Pennsylvania Dutch? Yes. Uh, but they didn't pass it on to you? They only talked Pennsylvania Dutch when they didn't want me to know what was going on. And you didn't figure it out when they yeah. <laughs> What is What does it mean to you to be Pennsylvania Dutch? Well, in the society of Pennsylvania Dutch, uh, it's a living community where everybody is uh, helping everybody else. Uh, surely they knew everybody's business too, but uh, it's just a close-knit uh, family, whether it's with the Mennonites, the Amish, yeah. or just Pennsylvania Dutch people yeah. living in the area. Uh, just one big happy family. And last question for you. What is your favorite Pennsylvania Dutch food? Booba Shangle. Oh my, that's a great answer. <laughs> Booba Shangle. Thank you so much, ma'am. Have a great day and the re enjoy the rest of your time here at the Folk Festival. Thank you. Mox Goo. Yeah, I've been yeah. here since the beginning. Since, since the beginning. In since 1950. 1950, okay. our church made shoe fly pie. And we sold shoe fly pie and believe it or not, coffee. And they baked them in Fleetwood and of course had to transport them here. Uh, the women baked during the day, the men baked at night. So the, the ovens were going continuously. 50 cents for a shoe fly pie, 5 cents for a cup of coffee. That was a whole pie, not a slice. I, yeah. think, I think those prices have gone up a little, a little bit, bit since then. A little bit, yes, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for keeping you're, the traditions alive. <laughs> you're welcome, thank you. Yep. And, All right, so please introduce yourself and tell us where you're from. Um, my name is Sarah Idris. I was raised in Mooresville outside of Hamburg. I'm actually currently living in Wilmersdorf, so. I am also a Mooresville boy, so. <laughs> yep, Lo that's right, Schuylkill yep. Valley Pride. Okay, so one of the cool things about Sarah, and I really want her to talk a little about this, is that she's younger, unlike a lot of the people at the Folk Festival or the old duchies, but she is doing, what are you currently doing? Um, right now, I'm actually working for the Pennsylvania German Cultural Heritage Center, and we are doing um, our hex sign demonstrations all week. So I just got down off the ladder. As you can see, I had a little incident with my with my white paint, so I'm a mess. But so what I find absolutely in, in, absolutely in, interesting and intriguing is that first off, hex sign painters tr traditionally have been men, and here we have Sarah, and she's young too. So what what drew you to this and wanting to learn how to paint these signs? Um, I actually, I think for me it started out, I grew up coming to this folk festival. Um, this folk festival is the reason why I so strongly identify as Pennsylvania Dutch, and I was just fortunate enough to be in the right time and place that Patrick Donweyer taught me these skills, and I fell in love with it. So it wasn't necessarily something that I was seeking, but it's something that... Um, through experience, I've grown to love a lot. So. All right. I've been asking a lot of people this, and I want to hear your take as a younger person. What does it mean to you to be Pennsylvania Dutch? I think for me, it means, it just means carrying on traditions. Um, I find myself a lot of times reflecting on what would make my great-grandmother proud. Um, I, I did not get to know her, but I am told often that I'm a lot like her, and I, I live a lot of my life trying to carry that legacy forward. So for me, that's what being Pennsylvania Dutch is, is, is continuing what I know she loved. So. That is such an awesome answer. <laughs> well, I love the work that you're doing. Please keep it up because we are carrying those traditions on. I just want to thank you for all you're doing and wish you all the best as we move forward. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mox good. Mox good. <laughs> Okay, tell me your name and where you are from. Ken Smith, Kutztown, Pennsylvania. A local boy, bred, born and bred, right? And what do you do here at the Folk Festival? Uh, I show off antique tinsmithing, cups, mugs, coffee pots, teapots. Where did you learn that trade? Uh, from my grandfather, my father. Uh, we were actually roofing tinsmiths, so we didn't do this type of thing. So I thought I was a tinsmith my whole life until I started 
uh, taking some classes and meeting people. And they said, you're not a tinsmith. You can't make cups, mugs, and coffee pots. <laughs> but you showed them. <laughs> I showed them, yeah. <laughs> So I've been asking a lot of people this, and I hear your take on it too. What does it mean to be Pennsylvania Dutch to you? Uh, hard work, honesty. Uh, uh, just, you guys having a good day? Oh, wow. You got me. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, like, do you, I mean, a lot of people will say, like, oh, this the opportunity to carry on traditions and things oh. like Does that play for you as well? Yes, yes. I, w you know, I actually wish I could speak more Pennsylvania Dutch. I definitely understand it. Wish, you know, I, of course, I know all the f little phrases and all the. You know all the swear words. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, of course, you know, I w I wish I could learn, still learn it, uh, to teach my grandchildren. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and I think also yeah. Besides language, I mean, the idea that you're carrying this tradition of and this skill on to future generations is important too. Right, and it's you know, tinsmithing isn't just Pennsylvania Dutch. I mean, they needed it. Everyone needed it, no matter what nationality they were. But we were fortunate enough to uh, have hardworking uh, relatives, Freinschaft, Freinschaft, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, to carry on the tradition. Yeah. Well, I appreciate all you do, and, and please keep up the great work because your work is beautiful. And uh, you keep working on that Pennsylvania Dutch. I know a YouTube channel you can check out and learn some words every now and then. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Mox Do do du all, Buva. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your name and where are you from? My name is Marie Smoyer from Pottstown, PA. Pottstown, Pennsylvania. We are putting people on the spot. What if somebody turns <laughs> to you and says, Kunch du Mikafunga? What do you say back? Oh. Chris Rose, give <laughs> Young. Von Hooks, Hook and Blinder. Bing, 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 bing. We have a winner. We have a winner. Good. I'm going to put you on the spot again. You ready? Oh, no. The category is Pennsylvania Dutch food. Fill in the blank. Stuffed blank stomach. Pigs. A two-time winner. A two-time winner, people. Let's go for three. Go for three. Mobile choice question. What year did the first Pennsylvania Dutch immigrants land in Philadelphia. Is it? 1883. I, I didn't even have to. I didn't even have to ask. Give it the quick. This. W congratulations. On the Congrat Concord. On the Concord. She even knows the ship, people. She even knows the ship. Thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of your stay here at the Goodstown Folk Festival. Thank you. <laughs> this guy's shirt is really great. Okay, name and where you're from. Doug Strange, Goodstown. Great first name. Great first name. <laughs> What's your shirts mean? It means, uh, where's the beer? I, I like that. That's <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're putting people on the spot. I think you got this one. This is going to be easy. How do you ask somebody? Well, let's say this. No, I'm going to ask you this one. If somebody turns to you and says, be bished, what do you say back? Be bished do. Bing, bing, bing. We got another winner. All right, fill in the blank. Blank, blank, pie. Chicken pot pie. I'll take it. I'll that. take it. I'll take it. I was looking for shoe fly pie, but no. there's some people that say shoe fly is one word. So yeah, we'll go with two words. Yeah. I, okay. And what? I like it better than corn pie. What's your favorite Pennsylvania Dutch food? Probably pot pie. Chicken? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. What about pig stomach? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 par I'm I'm part I'm partial to both. I'm Welsh, I'm not Dutch. <laughs> That's all. And he knows all these answers anyway. This is great. Hey, thanks, Doug, so much. Right, Enjoy Doug. the rest of your day here at the Kutztown Folk Festival. Hi, Chris. <laughs>